Hey, hey, Mzansi crew. You are a small boy. My issue is with Major One. It's none of your business, stupid. I'm not easily intimidated, responded Mboro, after a self-proclaimed prophet from Ghana has warned incredible happenings church leader Mapasika Mboro Mutuning to stay away from enlightened Christian gathering church leader Shepherd Mushu or face death. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, Mzansi, in a recent interview with Ghana TV, the man who identified himself as Eagle Prophet told Mboro that he continues to speak against Bushiri. He's going to die in a car accident. He added that he, however, did not want Mboro to die, but to suffer injuries that would teach him a lesson. He said, there is a prophet called Mboro. Mboro, listen to me. Either you leave Prophet Bushu alone or you die through car accident. I'm warning you, Mboro. You, your old, will be a fatal accident. I pray that you will not die, but the scars and injuries that will come on your body will be a clear indication that you are touching what God has to touch. Stop fighting Prophet Bushiri. If you continue to do that, man of God, my name is Eagle Prophet. I'm in Ghana, to be specific, West Africa. If you know the spiritualities in the kingdom set up, I'm just telling you. And God says, I have to warn you, stay away from Prophet Bushiri or face the judgment of a car accident. Either you lose your life or feel the pain of injuries. And Zanzi, do watch the video that's coming up next of this Ghanaian prophet telling Bora. My eyes are open. My, my spirit is in South Africa. My eyes are open. My spirit is in South Africa. There is a prophet called Imboro. Listen to me. There is a prophet called Imboro. Imboro, listen to me. Either you leave Prophet Bushiri alone or you die through car accident. I came to warn J. Israel to stay away from Af Lukau. Because Avlukau is a pillar of change. He is a great man that nobody can bring him down. He understands the rules in the spirit. That is why God has lifted him. So I came to warn J. Israel to stay away from Prophet Avlukau. But he didn't listen. And the things that are happening to him are unpleasant. I'm telling you the same thing, Prophet Imboro. You, your own will be a fatal accident. I pray you will not die, but the scars, the injuries that will come on your body will be a clear indication that you are touching what God has to touch. Stop fighting Prophet Bushiri. If you continue to do that, man of God, my name is the Eagle Prophet. I'm in Ghana, to be specific, West Africa. If you know the spiritualities and the kingdom set in thereabout. I'm just telling you, and God says, I have to warn you, stay away from Prophet Bushiri or face the judgment of car accident. Either you lose your life or you go through the pain of injuries. Learn from Prophet J. Israel, as I told him prophetically, that you stay away from Af Lukau because you cannot bring Af Lukau down. Look at the things he's going through. Af Lukau has a special covenant with the Lord. You jail Israel, to be specific as I say, he came into the life of that man as an evil person to destroy him. The man loved him, opened things to him, not in a destructive way, but he wanted to lead the man astray and he blocked you from his way. And that was the reason why you came out to speak all manner of evil against him. Af Lukau is a conqueror. You cannot bring him down. The same thing I tell Prophet Mboru, Prophet, stay away from Prophet Bushiri, that says the Lord of hosts. May the peace of God be with you. As you hear me and listen to me, be focused and preach the gospel to the lost souls so that when God comes, you will also be accounted as good servants of the gospel. God bless you. Now there are peaceful talks between Boro and the family of Major One on how to fix things between us, said Boro. Today, I'm just going to let things be. I won't be praying hard against his bail or whatever. If things go well, you will see us both talking to you. He further slammed the Ghanaian self-proclaimed prophet and told him he was not going to die. You are a small boy. My issue is not with you. It's with Major One. None of your business, stupid. I'm not easily intimidated. No accident will come to my life. You won't succeed. I terminate your power in the name of... 
I won't say. The gods of Ghana will never take my life. I terminate you and break you. I've done extraordinary miracles for the past 37 years. There is no one who will use the name of God to kill men of God. There is a God in South Africa, he said in a video shared on his Facebook page. Now, Motsuning also said that he had to terminate certain powers in the spirit to create an atmosphere that would make it possible for Bushiri and his wife Mary to be arrested. Wow. Bushiri handed himself over to the Hawks after Mary was arrested on 19 October, the church spokesperson pers person, rather, Ephraim Nyondo confirmed. In a statement on Tuesday, Nyondo said the Hawks' attorneys had requested the couple to discuss an investment in connection to Rising Estate, which is an international property investment and development company. The Hawks informed lawyers of our leaders, Prophet Shepard Bushiri and Prophetess Mary Bushiri late Monday afternoon that they are requesting the couple to go to the office by 11 a.m. accompanied by their lawyers to discuss an issue concerning an investment pertaining to a company called Rising Estate, he said. Nyondo continued to say the Prophet and the lawyers were getting prepared for the 11 a.m. appointment when the Hawks went to their house before the appointment and arrested the Prophet's wife alone. Now, the Prophet is on his way to the Hawks' office to hand himself over. He believes in the justice system of the country and he will abide to all that or what the law compels until this war is done as the matter is still currently under criminal investigation we have been advised not to discuss this matter any further he said now this couple will spend their second weekend in jail after their bail application was reserved for monday Zanzi, do let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section below i just think it's just so hypocritic these same prophets that are preaching the word of God are fighting and are using the word of God against each other. So is God supposed to choose side in this happenings? I don't know. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. You know, I will bring you the stories hot just the way you like.